the company that makes chips for the iPhone and iPad is buying NetLogic Microsystems for nearly $4 billion. Broadcom will pay NetLogic shareholders a 57% premium to where the company's stock closed on Friday. Now, Broadcom has this morning announced it is going ahead with that purchaser of the chip maker for high-speed cell phone networks. As we just laid out the details of that $3.7 billion bid, uh, you also keep in mind here uh, that we want to get the details of what this transaction does for the company strategically. And joining us now from Mountain View, California, is Scott McGregor. He's the CEO of Broadcom. Welcome to In Business, uh, Mr. McGregor. Uh, why is uh, $3.7 billion the right amount? Mount here uh, for NetLogic. NetLogic is a really interesting company. It has very strong technology for what are called application processors. So if you think about all of the data that gets sent across the internet, you need to look at that data and process that data. And NetLogic has great technology there, which combined with our switching technology is a great strategic fit. So a 57% premium uh, reads as a whopping amount, though, to, to where NetLogic closed on Friday. Uh, what is it that the market wasn't adequately pricing in there? That's a typical premium for a lot of the acquisitions happening these days, but the real issue is that it creates a lot of value for our shareholders. Uh, it's a, a, a great fit strategically for Broadcom. It's accretive to our earnings, it's accreting to our growth, uh, and it's accretive to our gross margins. So uh, it creates a lot of value for our shareholders at the uh, price we pay. And it, is this going to do it for acquisitions for you at this time, or are you still open to, to further buying? Well, Broadcom's a pretty acquisitive company. We've bought 40 companies over the last 10 years, so about one or two a quarter. Uh, so uh, I imagine we'll be acquiring more companies in the future, but we'll get this one done first. Mm -hmm. So we can't uh, expect one before the first half of 2012, in other words? Well, everything's possible, but uh, uh, today we're focused on uh, NetLogic. It's uh, certainly our largest acquisition to date, and we're very excited about it. So uh, what is it that you in intend to do with Broncom? As you've made clear in, in just laying out how acquisitive you've been, what is the overall direction that you want to move Broadcom into in terms of a core business? So Broadcom is really, uh, uh, we have real strength in both wired and wireless communications. And you talked before about our strength in cell phones and tablets and portable devices. But Broadcom is also number one position for uh, semiconductors into things like uh, how internet traffic is switched to how it's transmitted across uh, long lines. All that infrastructure and plumbing that you normally don't hear much about but is absolutely critical. Most of your viewers are probably watching this show over some Broadcom chip transmitting that data somehow. So this really bolsters our portfolio in that area, and it greatly expands our market opportunity, both in the wired uh, infrastructure space and also into things like cellular infrastructure, where all that data and video and things you're watching on these devices, uh, you need to process it and make the plumbing work for that, too. Now, you're the uh, maker of communication chips for Apple's mobile devices. Um, uh, given your knowledge of, as being a supplier to that company, um, what does the demand look like for the products you make? Well, we can't talk about specific customers, but we believe there's a huge demand for uh, mobile communications. Uh, people really like smartphones. They let them do things. And, you know, an interesting thing about smartphones is that phone calls aren't the number one thing people typically do with them. They use them for social interaction, for browsing the Internet, for sending messages. So it's really become an all-purpose communications device that you carry with you, becoming indispensable for many people. And so great growth opportunity as those capabilities improve. Indispensable for many. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. McGregor, for making time on this busy morning for you, uh, the CEO of Broadcom.